Hey guys, it's Skyrimers here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Let's go. So last episode, we uh, sadly saw Sephiroth come down and kill Eris. Sephiroth, which way did he go? Ugh. We've got visions in our head of which way he went. What are we? Are you all right? Hmm. Sephiroth said to me, head north, past the snowfields. Ah, okay, that's a fair, fair clue. So, as I say, at the terrible news of Eris last episode, now, we want some vengeance. Of course we want to save the planet too, but um... We really want to get Sephiroth back. So we climb up these tracks in the mountain, and then we can choose whether we want to kind of get off to the left or get off to the right. And there's a few little goodies that we can collect along the way, so... I always do, just because... Just because why not? So if we head over to the right... And then we can go down here... What have we got in here? A Hypno Crown! I think that increases your percentage chance of manipulating things which will become handy at a certain point later in the game a mega elixir a bolt armlet so I think that is similar to the um, well it's a piece of armor that I believe drains electrical attacks so when you know if you're wearing it and people do electric on you then instead of hurting you it will actually heal you very handy. But it's not something I use, to be honest. I just go for kind of the ones that have just got really strong defense. Um, so up is the way to kind of proceed with the game. But before we do that, we want to go all the way down to the bottom. Because there's a piece of material waiting for us. See that little purple thing down there? Magic plus materia. So what that does, if I remember rightly... I'm not going to use it, actually. <laughs> I just... Uh, it's a compulsion to collect everything, I guess. Um, what it does is it kind of increases magic. Okay, that's not what I thought it does. I must be thinking of a different materia. In that case, I might actually use that. Might give that to Vincent if he's got something that we don't mind getting rid of. Oh, come on, we'll get rid of the all. We're not even using it, really. It's only there because I want to kind of level it up, but we're doing well for all materials anyway. So that, oh, random battle. Yeah, so it looks like that kind of just adds 10% to your magic, not your magic points, but your kind of magic strength, I guess. Um, so why not? Right, we'll show you this Leviathan. I prom, oh God, cloud smashing it. And red 13. It's going to be a bit of a waste of a summon, isn't it, by the time we get around to using it? Ah, well. Looks good. Tidal wave! So this is a summon that, you know, a lot of people won't pick up and a lot of people won't have seen. Just because the, um... A lot of people won't do that side quest for Yuffie. Ah! So this is obviously a water-based... Boom. Two and a half thousand all round. What? That didn't kill them. What is going on? No, I don't want to attack myself. What's going on? Oh, I think what's going on is they are dead. But for some reason, it's letting them do their attack first. And so that's why the kind of the pointer was pointed at myself, because when there's no enemies left, the only person you can attack is yourself. That was really weird that it let them do their little attack first. Anyway, so now we're going to go all the way to the top. Yeah, so this material looks like it kind of just increases your like magic strength by 10%, and then obviously increasing as it levels up. Um, Vincent's our magic guy, he does the healing. So, it makes sense to give it to him. I mean, everyone does a bit of magic, but... You know what I mean. Now, with the material that I thought it was, was... 
Maybe it's called Magic Plus, the one I'm thinking of. Where basically you, um... Power Source! The one I'm thinking of is it basically uses more magic points. Whatever man you you have to attach it to another spell. And then it kind of... It uses up more magic points than it normally would do when you use that spell. But it's a lot stronger than it normally is. So it might take, say, you know, level 2 bolt might normally use up 24 magic points. If you attach it to that, it'll take up 40 magic points, but it'll be a hell of a lot stronger. Um, hello, little bunnies. How's it going? Right, let's get a bit of curing on the go from Vincent, because Red 13's not looking in the best of shape. Alright, that's one down. As I say, we're going to... I mean, I think the game's pretty easy as it is, and now that we've done a little bit of grinding earlier in the series... It should be a real walk in the park, unless we come across anyone, any particularly tough bosses, but there aren't many of those, to be honest. Right, so as Sephiroth said, we are heading through the snowy fields, heading north. Where are you? So as you can see, we're heading towards a dot right now, which is... This little place, I think it's called Icicle Village, or... I'll just put, I'll just check. It'll say in the bottom right. Icicle Inn, it's called. Ah, a quaint little ice village. Now, I believe there's a place where we can upgrade our weapons here. And I think they've actually got a pretty good selection of weapons that are mostly a lot better than what we've got at the moment. Grandpa, wake up! We have a customer! Smack! Mm. Oh, welcome. Glad you came. Here we go. Right, so organics. Look at that for a cloud. Massive increase. Not cheap, but um, we're made of money now, so that's not a problem. So we'll get an organics. Oh, look at that. Loads of slots as well. Sadly, we're going to have to get rid of the fact that at the moment, um, Cloud's weapon does double materia growth. Ah, that's not the end of the world. Um, wow, look at that. I mean, <laughs> I haven't bought a new weapon for Tifa ever, I think. I think Cena's were so rich now. And, um, and there are going to be stages later in the game where we're going to use other characters. I won't spoil anything, but there will be stages later in the game where we're going to have to use other characters. Um, so I don't want to have another incident that we had, like we had with Yuffie, where I'd sold all of her weapons. And then it turned out that kind of, I was a bit screwed and I had to use a terrible weapon with her. So yeah, Red 13 is one of the few who do, it hasn't got a better weapon here. Because the weapon, do you remember I mentioned that when you do the whole Cosmo Canyon thing and learn about his dad, you get given a brilliant weapon that is just miles ahead of um, everyone else. Should we get the Hawkeye? I mean, no, I'll leave that. We're never going to use Yuffie again, to be honest, and we're never going to use Katsip. Hate him. <laughs> we might use Sid, though. And we're definitely going to use uh, Vincent, and that is a pretty tasty upgrade for him. So we'll have that for Vincent. We'll take that for Sid, just in case. I don't think we've even used Sid once yet, but don't worry, we will. We will. So that is a nice little bit of business there. So I'm just going to equip these, and then I think I'll sell off what we didn't what you know the old weapons right so that's our little shopping trip done we've fully suited up with our best weapons best materia we have uh had a good night's sleep now let's go no don't it's a steep downgrade past here it's dangerous please don't go i'm still going gotta head north gotta chase sephiroth damn i was just being nice what the? Who are those people over there? Looks like trouble. Oh, let's go. We know that head. It's Elena. There they are. Hurry. Yes, ma'am. I really think we can. T they can take us on. Cloud. We. I won't let you get any further. What's down there? It's a secret. Really doesn't matter, but you really got guts doing my boss in like that. 
You mean boss? Zeng? That wasn't us. Sephiroth did it. No! Don't think you can fool me, liar! I'm not lying. It was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh, she had a thing for Zeng, didn't she? Oh, man. Looks like talking alone won't cut it. You're gonna have to feel some pain. Just you and me. No, I can handle him. There's no way he can avoid my punch. What? Yeah. So we got to... Oh! <laughs> Failed to dodge. Oh, well. Why? Why didn't you try to avoid? There's no way they can climb the Great Glacier anyway. Put them in some house in the village. Just wake up on a rug in some random house. Right? She says we can't climb the uh, Great Glacier. I disagree. I got hurt on my snowboard. Now I can't go out for a while. Hey! I'll give you my snowboard. Oh, really? Tell me when you get good at it. Groovy. Receive the key item snowboard. I have a guess what we're going to do now. Right, let's head to the kind of top of the cliff where he said it was a very steep gradient. Let's take this for a spin. I told you, you can't. Can. I've got a snowboard, mate. You won't make it without a snowboard and a map. Oh, yeah, silly me. <laughs> I forgot to get the map. I can't remember where it is now. One of these houses, maybe it's the one house that I haven't been in. That would make sense. One of these houses got a map on the wall and you've got to steal it. Oh, some potions as well. A vaccine. And a hero drink. Very nice. Good, good job they made me come here. We can look at the map, or we can just take it. Thank you very much. Right, dude, we've got our map, we've got our snowboard. Are you going to let me go this time? Sorry, I just took off a while ago. It looked like there was going to be trouble. Anyhow, you'll need a snowboard to get down that hill. Want me to teach you how to ride one? Nah, not interested. All right, big head. Don't blame me if you get hurt. <laughs> be careful. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest. I say that, I hope I've remembered correctly. <laughs> cool little mini game here. Off we go, Cloud. See if I can figure out. Okay, so that's jump. That's like slide. Woo! Okay, we got it. So, I mean, there is a time limit, I guess. Well, sorry, not a time limit, a timer. I guess if you wanted to kind of, you know, record a really fast fast time or whatever, but oh, it really doesn't matter. There's no rush. There's no, uh, you can't get hurt by bumping into the walls. You can't die. Oh, I'm handling the corners like I'm driving in a... Don't know what. <laughs> Way skills. Woo! Um, yeah, you can bump into stuff as much as you want, whatever. It just means that you'll get there slower. So there's a few options to this kind of area. You can. Um, there's a couple of kind of forks in the road where you have the option to either go left or right, and where you, you know, depending on where which one you choose, will determine where you start in this next area that we're going to be in. It really doesn't matter which way. Well, it's not terribly important. But, um... It'll just determine where you start off in the next area. Right, here's our first fork, and we've taken a left. As there, I don't really know... hugely what the... Ah! Uh, what the difference is. I know that it takes you to a different place, but I don't know which place it takes you to or you know, whatnot. And whichever way you go anyway, you can always kind of come back around. Oh, we're going left again. 
You can always come back around again and cover the whole area. Here we go. I don't know what a good time for this is, but I can assure you that is not it. <laughs> I am absolutely garbage at that minigame. I love this music. Ugh. Kind of fell off with a bit of a clang there. I guess we're still in one piece. Everyone alright? Got snow in my ear. Yeah, I'm alright. So where did we land? Seems like maybe we didn't even jump at all. We should check out along the map. Sure is cold. We'll freeze if we stay here any longer. So as Vincent kindly pointed out there, we can press square to check our map. So we don't know where we are <laughs> yet. Um, but we can kind of figure out from different landmarks we see. So you can see various different bits and bobs. There's, you know, an area with a tree. There's an area with a little hut. Um, so as you kind of explore around this area and spot landmarks, then you can figure out where you are and then which way you want to go. So you can always keep kind of referring back to that map. I must say I remember this area being a massive pain. <laughs> Because there's quite a few different areas around here that you kind of would... Ah, oh, I never forgot there was fighting along the way. Um, there's quite a few different areas that have got items in. Now, I'm not going to be fanatical about collecting them all. But, out here in the snow, there is one summon. And I said that I want to collect every summon in the game. So, I'm going to have to try and find it. I remember what the place looks like, where it is, but I have no idea how to get there. So there may be a lot of wandering around aimlessly, but you know, obviously I'll cut that to a minimum. Du, 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 du. Look at our energies now, two of us are nearly on 3000, what a beast. Right, where is... um? The guy, I can't remember who I gave it to now. Someone has got Comet. There we go. I want to show off Comet, our new spe our new magic move. The one that I said was super powerful. It is very powerful. It also looks mega cool. Look at this bad boy. I mean, it, it's exact, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Boom. 3,000? Crazy. Okay, so it was a bit overkill to use it on him, but you get the point. <laughs> we'll be using that on bosses in future. Yeah, so that you're only allowed to walk a certain amount of steps, I think, before you kind of shiver and get cold. Oh, there's a potion. So we're near an icy lake, so I'm getting, and it looks like we're at the bottom right of the lake. So... I don't know. <laughs> the, more we ex the more we explore the more we should get an idea of our bearings. Again, definitely have select pressed for this so that you can see all the exits on a given screen. Yep, so you got to face the direction that you want to jump in. And each time you jump, some other things will... Um, you can't jump on the small ones, basically. You can only jump on the big ones. If you jump on a big one, or if you jump on a small one, you fall in, you're done for. And each time you jump, some go small, some go big. So you just gotta take your time, make sure you don't get cornered. No! Back again. Yeah, the one important thing is to make sure you don't kind of back yourself into a corner. There we go, I think we've done it! Yay! Oh, I think that must have took six goes. Okay, so we've crossed a lake and come into a cave. Oh, hello. Sneaky, sneaky. Anything in here? A safety bit. Oh, we can have fights inside the caves as well. Okay, that's news to me. Hello. 
Right, let's deal with this lady as quick as possible. Ugh. And then when we get oh hello hello hello, <laughs> he missed that. Oh, he's wearing the um, red thirteen is wearing the dragon armless, and that drains like fifty percent of like lightning, ice, and something else. So red thirteen is a bit of a beast at the moment, and that dragon armless is going to come in really handy for a, for like the next boss that we're going to fight. I'll explain that as we get closer to the time. I think the um, Aurora we've got an Aurora armlet as well on cloud and that is also going to come in useful for that boss I think that drains some other kind of magic as well Blip. right okay so there doesn't seem to be anything else in here right we're agreed so now we can have a look at our map and try to see if we can figure out. Okay, it won't, won't let us look at our map on that screen for some reason. Oh god. <laughs> Gotta get, get back across now. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it's easier to go the other way. Huzzah! Right, okay. Now, now let's have a look at our map, and so we should be able to kind of figure out. So we've just gone to a massive little cave, which must be the thing that's in the very center of the map. Oh yeah, because there was... I thought that was like a little bridge, but actually, that is the grid, isn't it? Just in front of the cave is the grid that you cross. Now I know that I think you're only allowed... There's a certain part of the map where you're only allowed to walk for a certain amount of steps before you kind of like keel over because you're frozen. We're at, we're at the tree now, we know exactly where we are. Just gotta figure out where we wanna go. Well, I know that to get, to kind of leave this place and progress with the game, we need to get to the very top, I know that much. But I need to find the summon first. So that's gonna involve a bit of searching. So we went northwest of that. Oh, okay. So we're at the, this fork in the road now, are we? Well, a massive fork. Okay. Let's carry on northwest, I guess. So now we're going. We were going northeast. Now we're going. Sorry, we're going northwest. Now we're going. No oh. Oh, there's the added cup material. Very nice. That was one of the materials that I. Well, I didn't know which one was here, but you know, I knew there was something here. So what added cut does is basically, um, okay, do I go, do I want to go right or do I want to go left? No, let's go right. Um, yeah, what added cut does is, oh God, I really don't know where we are anymore. Um, is you, you would have to link it with another materia. So say you link it with fire. When you cast the fire, sp ah! if you link it with fire, when you cast fire, he'll do fire, and then he will also do a regular attack with it as well. So it is pretty handy, but I think there are better materials that you can have. All right, let's kill these giant insectoids. I don't know why I'm clinging on to um, <laughs> Vincent's limit break so much. I'm just going to use it. There we go. In fact, I think that I think the last thing I want to do is use Vincent's limit break on the boss that is coming up, because um, oh my God, we're back here! What? <laughs> we're back at the fork in the road. Okay, so if we go back the other way, then let's go back the way we came from. Okay, so we're back at this point, and last time we went to the right, so let's go up this time instead. 
Oh, we collapsed. Yeah, I can't remember what the exact number is, but there's only like a certain amount of steps that you can walk before you just collapse from the cold. You awake, and then you'll be taken to this old dude's house at the top of the mountain. You collapsed at the Great Glacier. It's a miracle you're all right. My name is Hul Hulzoff. I've been living here 20 years now. If you're planning to head north, you better listen to my story. Go on then. Just before I... Okay, I was going to try and go upstairs and loot his house. As you do. Why don't we go to the next room and sit down? Fair enough. Get a nice hot cocoa. You ever hear about those who challenge the cliff? Nope. There's an old legend that says something fell from the sky here a long time ago. That's what ha that's what that's what's supposed to have pushed the land up and formed this cliff. Thirty years ago, Yamsky and I took this cliff on to see what was on the other side, but we weren't prepared for it. We did expect the temperature to be low, but on that cliff, there's always a biting cold wind. The cold air lowers your body temperature. Yamsky was below me. He cut his own rope, and I didn't even notice. Ever since then, I've settled here, continuing to challenge the cliff and provide warning and shelter to my fellow climbers. If you're gonna climb the cliff, there's two precautions you'll need to take. First, check your route. It's hard to find because of all the snow. Second, once you get to a ledge, make sure you warm yourselves up. Right, okay, we will save it. But before we're climbing the mountain, we are gonna have to go back and get that goddamn summon. Hey, the whole crew's here, chillin'. Bet Yuffie's cold, look what she's wearing, Antifa. And Barrett, to be fair, in his sleeveless top. You know, I've been thinking. What is it? Seeing a place like this makes you realize how awesome nature is. But if anyone ever told me to live here, I'd tell them to, you know. i tell you one thing, though. If I did have to live around here, I'd change things around and make it better. I guess the total opposite of this would be Minka. When you think of it that way, Shinra doesn't seem so bad. Ugh. What the hell am I saying? The Shinra? Not bad? We'll secure the route. You come up later. Yep, so head north when you want to climb the mountain. But we ain't climbing no mountain till we got that summon. I'll place a landmark and start walking. So you have to keep placing these things because each time the wind blows, it rotates the map. So if you kind of if you want to know what direction you're going in. Ah uh, <laughs> then using these play kind of place markers helps you still go in a straight line. Right, where are we now? Oh, there's a cave. I think it might be in this cave, you know. Ah, I think it is, you know. Yeah, you got a lot of nerve trying to touch me with the same dirty hands that touched that filthy hot spring. I'll never forgive you. Bringing out the boss music here. Pretty sure this is just a normal... One of these ladies. I don't know, maybe she's an extra strong one. Soon find out, won't we? Either way, I never say no to having a bit of this music on. Come on! Ooh, that was a bit of a uh, bit of a decent attack. Shame that all your attacks heal, Red Thirteen. Maybe we should do sense on her. Find out what the situation is. Oh, too late. You're dead. I think this is where we're gonna get it.
Why this? Yoink! Alexander. Huh? What? Was that just... Maybe that was just another... A random battle that just happened to happen at the same time as... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll deal with these quick. That's two down. Three down. Four down. Hey, a level up for a 13. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap Leviathan. Because that's not one that I really use for Alexander. Only really so we can, again, so we can show it off to you. Because, you know, a bunch of these summons... You know, a lot of the summons in the game people will collect as they go. They're almost impossible to miss kind of a, a big chunk of them. But some of them are pretty awkward to find. You wouldn't know they were there. Um, so a lot of people won't have ever seen them. So it's fun to show them off. So oops, I was just about to do it and then I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> that was a bit feeble, wasn't it? Gonna have to wake up earlier in the morning to beat us. Right, let's get some curing on the go. Vincent keeps taking damage here. He's also the one with by far the lowest energy as well, which is pain. Anyway, now that we've collected our summon, we're gonna head straight back to the little kind of hut with the guy who gave us some advice about um, mountain climbing and head up the mountain so that is the plan Stan oh dear oh no she's confused Vincent which means he's uh, gonna basically do whatever he wants and he's liable to attack his own teammates now boom how do you like some of that, Sonny? Oh, who's she doing it on now? Don't be doing it on Red 13 as well. Oh, God, she has. Right, all hope rests with you now, Cloudy Boy. Hey! <laughs> she must have been poisoned. Anyway, right, let's head straight back to that bit then. Up th and then head up the mountain. So you remember what he said? He said, keep looking at your map, and then whenever you get to a ledge, make sure that you warm yourself up. Ooh, this dude is actually a really good way of learning an enemy skill. He does something called Magic Breath, which is really powerful. And he also does... I um, hope this tops up his energy, by the way, because <laughs> um, it's pretty low. Oh, yes, it does. Very nice. Yeah, he does something called uh, Magic Breath, which is really powerful. And he also does something called Trine. So, let's hope he does it to, you know, someone who's got an enemy skill equipped. In fact, I think all three of us have now. Although, I, I fear that Vincent, yeah, is going to kill him before he gets a chance to do anything. Rah! Yeah, so the way to warm yourself up is to tap square. And 36 degrees is as high as you can get, pretty much. Yeah, if you, I think if you drop below 25 degrees, you 
or to drop down to 25 degrees then you'll collapse from the cold and you'll get dragged back to that cabin and then you'll have to start this all over again although it's not like this is hard i mean this is like stupidly easy like <laughs> if you drop down to 25 then you really have just been totally careless no reason for you to not do this first go every time there we go that's the first bit of climbing done not the last though so we're going to get in this cave where we should be a bit warmer ba -doo -doo. right what have we got in store for us here some bats going crazy I'm getting attacked on both fronts. Oh no. Okay, that's alright. The ultrasound, um, that little speech bubble means that he's silenced. Um, which basically means that he can't do any magic attacks. But these guys will be dead before you know it. And then it's gone. Oh, I li like all state ailments, it only lasts as long as that one fight. So, no worries. remember where we're going here. Sure, we'll figure it out. None of these places are particularly hard to, uh, you know, to get around. Nice little goodie here. A javelin. That'll be a weapon for Sid. Because all of his weapons are like spears and lances and pointy poles. Oh yeah, let's test out that summon, Alexander. Wow, 120 magic points this is, it better be good. Come on Cloud, show us what you got. Judgment. Now this is called, the, the, the kind of element type of this summon is holy. Which is a very rare thing. There's it's there's very little in the way of holy attacks, um, and it's only good against, or it's it's only particularly like especially strong against undead things. I think, which you don't see many of, but still does four and a half thousand per dude. You'll have noticed there, by the way. I am um, that. Hey, MP plus just went up. You'll have noticed that Cloud's magic, or Cloud's energy went up a big chunk there. I'll show you why. Um, so, Alexander is linked with HP Absorb. So basically, whenever to, whenever we do that, whenever you do the, the linked spell, it absorbs some of the damage back as, as energy for yourself. So, very nice. It's always good to attach that with a summon because um, it's a, you know it's a percentage of how much damage is done, and obviously summons do a lot more damage than most attacks, so it makes sense to attach it to something that's going to do massive damage. Hey, level ups, leveling up like crazy, yeah. Right, what's the green? Okay, green is not a proper entrance, or not not a another room. Should we push the rock? Yeah. Wonder where that's gonna go. Okay, I thought we had to stand there and watch it happen. See, it's gonna destroy those little. Icicles for us. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Then we'll have to go around. And now, here we are, walking past those icicles. Or where the icicles used to be, rather. Carry on. Through here. That was the exit right there. So we're going to do a bit more mountain climbing. Let's go up. 
Yeah, so you start getting options now. I think there's possibly chests along certain routes. I can't remember which way though, so... Possibly there may only be even be one correct way to go. Um, I guess we'll have to go right. We don't want to go back down, do we? As you can see, you really don't need to be kind of warming up on every single ledge. Just do it every kind of two or three ledges and you should be totally fine. Go around here, out of here. A little treasure chest there. A fire armlet. And now we have to fight a giant icicle on a, a stalactite. Stalac I don't know which one of this. Let's whack him with a bit of behemoth. See how he likes some of that. Oh no. If Red 13's been silenced. I think it's Red 13 that's been silenced. Okay, he has now. I was going to say I don't know if he can still do summons. Oh, no, he can't. What a swine. Oh, that is annoying. Right, we'll need to get Cloud on the go then, I guess. Just to get the job done. Have we got anything really good here? No, let's just... No, no, come on. There's no need to summon. These guys are so easy. They're all one-hit kills, and then we just need to batter the icicle. Now, I'm not going to show you the uh, all of this icicle drop. Ah! Yeah, it's no big deal. Although, it would be nice if we could heal ourselves. Except we can't, because Cloud... Not Cloud. Vincent has decided to get himself silenced. Oh, actually, we can do White Wind. White Wind is good. And it's one of the reasons why it's important. Well, I think it's important to get that enemy skill, because then you don't always rely on one pe person doing the healing. As it is, um, Red 13 and Cloud have both got White Wind on their enemy skills, and then Vincent's got Cure. So all three of us can do um, can heal. So, we fight the Icicle, as you do, pretty normal. Um, and it falls from the ceiling. Wiggle, wiggle. Do we want to jump down? No, do not jump down or you'll have to come all the way back up here. Now you see there's three more icicles. We're going to have to fight all three of those. And then, and then. I'm not going to show you all those fights because <laughs> they're all the same. Um, so we'll get rid of those three icicles and then we will um, proceed. Right, and that is the fourth and final icicle killed. Now, we do want to technically jump down, but still say no, because there's a chest at the end. We want to just grab that item, and then we can jump down. Now, I think, yeah, if we go back to the start of the room, it'll give us the option to. So now that we've got that item, we can jump down. Whee! Not sure it's the safest thing in the world. Alright, let's just heal ourselves a little bit. We did also level up a couple of materials while we were in the, those bite fights. So we leveled up Restore, which now has got Regen, which is absolutely amazing. Particularly if you've got it attached to an all, because then you can set all of your players to Regen. Which means for the rest of the fight, assuming they don't die, their energy will constantly regenerate non-stop. An absolutely amazing spell. Um, and the only other one is that Cloud's bolt went up to level 3. So he can do an even more powerful bolt now. Just before we cross this bridge, I think it's probably a wise idea to go and save it. Just on the off chance. Because we are going to fight as a boss now. Just on the off chance that we happen to, you know, I don't know. It's very rare. It's very unlikely that we're going to die. But you never know. So I advise that you give one of your players the ice ring. And another one of your play players, the fire ring, if we've got it. No, we haven't. Okay, never mind. It's not an issue. 
and we'll just use a tent. Basically just because the next boss is going to do fire moves and um, ice moves. So if you've got rings on that kind of cancel out those moves, you know, it's very, very handy. Speed source. Not bad. Right, let's leap across these icicles that we've just knocked down from the ceiling. So this is actually the kind of the main fair the, the the first room that you step into the cave. But at this point, when we or when you first step into the room, obviously there isn't that bridgeway created. I don't normally do this, but I'm just gonna run away because I just want to hurry up and get fight this boss. And we're way over leveled anyway, so there's really no need to worry about running away from a fight. Ooh, an enhanced sword. That's not better than what we've got, is it? No, it's considerably worse, but it has got a hell of a lot of materia slots on it. So I guess if you were... If you wanted your cloud character to be very magic heavy and not do too many physical attacks, then it'd be a really good sword, I guess. We've got a smidge more mountain climbing to do. Right, let's go up. Getting ourselves a bit warmed up there for the final climb, I think. Oh, look at him. It's supposed to be going really fast there. Right, let's crack on, and I think we know what's coming. Oh, I think I do. Ugh. Ah! I don't know what that was all, all about. Oh, it's one of these guys in the black hoods. Hang on. What's going on? Ah! Let's go. So this is the boss that's going to do fire magic and ice magic. And I think he's got two different heads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with doing regen. Because then, why not? You know, they're going to be constantly healing throughout the whole fight. And we'll do a sense just for a bit of fun. Just to kind of... We'll have to, I think we have to sense both heads actually. Because I think they're treated as two different enemies. This is going to be a whopper of a start. Boom, nearly 4,000. Um, and this will be a chance for you to see what regen is like in action. So look at clouds. Okay, it's just getting covered up. Okay, so one of the heads has got 18,000. Not bad. Let's do some bolts on him. And what else can we do? Should we try and poison them? Why not? And uh, let's sense the other head as well. I'm guessing the other one's got 18,000 as well. But you never know. Oh, what? Okay, so they're resistant to poison. Right, what have we got? We can... No, in fact, I'm going to stick to physical attacks mostly because... Um, I'm just wary about the fact that they're magical and I could end up accidentally healing them. Right, get the Howling Moon out the bag, Red. Um, yeah, I'm just wary about kind of healing them by accident. Um, and my physical attacks are stupidly powerful anyway. But look at this, I mean, unless they do anything like mega, mega powerful, like, I don't know, 1500 damage plus in one hit. I won't even have to cure my guys once through the whole fight because the regen will be cu curing them so quickly. So, you know, so much. Look at that. Red 13's howling moon attacks are just mental. So powerful. Oh, unlucky, bro. Didn't hurt me. Is he going for it again? Okay. <laughs> it hurt Vincent. But again, because of the whole regen thing, it's not even an issue. Assuming that he doesn't get attacked, um, you know, again. Ah, okay. Maybe we could do with a, a small cure for Vincent. Actually, no, what we'll do is we'll get the Galleon Beast out. 
Oh, hang on. No, 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 we won't. Oh, no! Vincent! Um, I was going to say we'll get the Galleon Beast out. And that would top up his energy. And obviously then he'd be doing massive attacks. But, um... Then I realised that we need to Phoenix down Vincent, obviously. Then I realised that is the Galleon Beast mostly does fire attacks. And one of these guys would get cured every time he did the attack and then it would turn into a massive pain. Right. Okay. Hang on a minute. I thought the region... Oh, God. This could be the end of... Uh... Oh, dear. This is not going well, is it? So much for... Uh... Me banging on about how fantastic um, regen was. Um, right, let's get ourselves sorted. Oh dear, has he just killed himself? Ah! He killed himself, but he killed Red in the process, which means the only person who's getting experience out of this is Cloud. Which is pretty disappointing. But, at the same time, as I mentioned earlier, we're so overleveled that it's really not a big deal. Right, so that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will tune in next time for some more Final Fantasy VII. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Yes, I did. Did it.